for example, uh, within IBM, we have uh, we have our own tool. So I say, make it fun, make it fun for your employees. We have competition. You want yeah. innovation? You drive innovation with people that are currently working in the job. If you know that their job is going to be augmented, in what way can this tool really help them do their job to give you better result? As a as a product designer, people are talented. They want to design product that's of good quality. You know, that's what they be measured. Right. But instead, yeah. what happened is people are going through Excel spreadsheet. Right. I used to be a merchandiser. I used to be a planner. You know what? Open to buy monthly, mon a weekly Monday meeting really take up a lot of my time because I'm working with Excel spreadsheets. If you're in supply chain. Right. Oftentimes, planners are are frustrated because everybody's in the reactive mode because you can't be proactive because there's just not enough time between yeah. the close of the week to the morning you show up and you have Monday review meeting. So I say start somewhere and start with your employee to get ideas in how to drive innovation to better serve the area that you serve. So chances are you have very good employee, they're very good at what they do, but they're being bogged down right now. <laughs> Yeah. So, I, mean, that, that, I mean, to be fair, that sounds like a, a lovely place to, to sort of end because that's like the, the nugget of wisdom that you would give to the executives uh, re receiving the, the, the thing. My, my own curiosity in terms of data points, because you're probably a, you love data. What are the, I mean, it could be the, the, the data points I've already mentioned in terms of 52% projected increase in AI spend or 82% planned increase in uh, AI driven integrated business uh, models. What's the one data, the uh, one data out number that you like? in your report? What's the one that you keep going back to? I love your question. I would say that for me, yeah. I was excited to see AI as an enabler to drive growth instead of cutting costs. Yeah, same. Yeah, got you. Yeah. You know? So, How do so. We get to grow? Yeah. Right. So, you know, if you read the report, there are some stats about because we we ask because I've been doing this for a few years. So we do have longitudinal analysis, and we ask question every year for a five year horizon. Mm. So where do you see AI contribute as a driver to save costs, and then? how do you see AI contribute to revenue growth? And I was really, really excited this year to see when we asked last year, what's, where do they say they see AI as a contribution to revenue growth? And we asked them 20 last year, this year, and the next year, right? Yeah. And what I see is the percentage of AI contribution to revenue growth is going to cross over. It's going to cross over, meaning it's going to go higher in wow. the next in the next three years so i know we have to save costs definitely you know otherwise yeah. you know where's the margin going to come from but do understand that ai is a tool that help you improve productivity gain right now once you're ready to scale it has the opportunity to drive revenue growth that's the one thing that get me really excited is is like other than looking at productivity gain, saving costs, being more efficient, this is a transformational tool that can help you drive growth. That's and is there is there one question that you, people are missing when they look at the data? Is there like something that you think you, you you were expecting people to ask you about, but they don't ask you about? 